Hey there, I'm Matt from the Tech Gang. I'm just going to show some basic text effects today. So, flash document. Now, I'm just going to type in hello world. Oh, click on hello world. I've got text properties the font, the size, color, bold, italics. Um, yeah, I've got loads of effects there to change the text. So I'm going to click on this text and I can either break it apart by right clicking and break apart or by going Control B and Control B once more. Now if I just select that, click F8, transfer it to a graphic. I've got my symbol 1, hello world here. Um, I'll just put another one of those in. If I put the tilt tint tilt, I've put the tint of this one like that, and then arrange centre back, You've already got kind of a effect going on, and you just position it correctly, and it can be a little tint like that, or it can be sandwiched like that. So red, black, red, or it can go darker as it goes back. But um Let's work with the actual text. So I'll break that apart again just so it's normal graphic grading sort of text. As you just saw me do, you can kind of do a spiky kind of thing with it. But yeah, you can do that kind of thing. I'm just going to show you how to add a gradient to a text. So click on the paint bucket tool with this selected by the black tool. Go on fill colour and you'll see down here you've got some selections of gradients if I just click on that now I don't want a gradient like that I want it to be going right across so I'm going to click on this H drag in a straight line all the way to this D and there's some basic gradients in flash now um, the thing about gradients in flash is that if I try to use the paint bucket tool on green setting over this red it will fill in the whole of the shape not just the single colour of red, therefore eliminating oh, un constant undoing and redoing. And same with this, I want the blue to come from the middle of the text and go out, or from this side and go that way. So I just, just experiment with the gradients. Right, so work with a fresh symbol. Um, if I go into colour here, linear, of course, change this to black, red, black, red. It's just an example of getting a custom gradient onto it. Okay, so I've got my custom gradient there. Um, if I undo that all together, add a new one, a linear. everything really close together if I select that now and drag it across it has kind of a neon bar kind of effect 
it's not really good on its own the effect isn't so you can see the gradient effect over the whole area of the text is a lot more effective than each single letter um, that's basically it but I can show you ways of forming text everyone knows how to form the letter A capital A not hard, three year olds do it. Right, so I'll just change this slightly. set diamond kind of thing there we go and then I've got my customized letter A um, you can add a gradient to that letter A now make it look a bit flash whatever why not add a background tool why not add a background to it yellow background just to stand it out so yeah basics of gradients and text effects you can experiment with the graphic settings in this I've got brightness here so I can kind of dim it out you can have tint so tint it a different color already shown you can have alpha ghost mode kind of thing you can just have it a tiny bit visible in the back or I can use these advanced settings to change the red green blue alpha if you know about this sort of thing then it'd be easy for you yeah I've got a working demonstration in the background just to show you what you're doing Okay, so yeah, that's the basics of gradients, text, and effects in Flash.